Good morning, Kylan Hicks. It's been a while since I greeted you. I figured I would today. Scoping out the weather conditions. Some dry patches on the road. That looks good. So now I gotta decide. Am I gonna go for a ride or not? Usually when I'm in this mood and I'm indecisive, I end up just going because if not, I'll be restless all day. It's dry right now. I know it's gonna rain again later, but I can dress for that, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a ride. And today, I'm probably gonna to go to Cal Verde. It's uh, just on the southern shore. It's just after Cape Royal before Fairyland. Here, I'll show you on a map. So here's Eastern Newfoundland, the Northeast Avalon. I am right there. And my plan is just to head down all the way down past Babel's, Mobile, Whitless Bay, Torres Cove, La Manche, Cape Royal, and then finally to Calvert. It's uh, not very clear this way. <laughs> Fog is pretty thick coming down uh, down here, as you can see. So that got me wondering how much of a view I'm going to have once I reach uh, Calvert. Either way, I'm going to enjoy this ride. It's been a few days since I've been out, and I uh, really needed to get out. I've uh, been a victim of the weather lately. It's uh, got me down quite a bit, especially uh, the last couple of days, and uh, yeah, it was one of those things today I just had no choice but to come out and clear my head, so here I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the ride and the views, and hopefully it's not going to be fog the whole way. We shall see. And here is beautiful Babels. Great view today. Well, the fog has lifted a little bit out this way, so maybe that's a good sign. So I'm away down here to Calvert. Calvert, I don't know how you pronounce it. It almost sounds French, Calvert, but I don't know if the people pronounce it Calvert or Calvert, because you wouldn't pronounce Albert as Albert, <laughs> right? Anyway, I forget what I was going to say. Oh yes, I'm away down, I'm going to do some uh, mermaid hunting. As I seen a picture of somebody posed next to a mermaid on this uh, route here somewhere. If I see it, I'll probably stop. But chances of seeing it are probably slim. <laughs> we'll see. Where are you mermaids? Never thought I'd go mermaid hunting before. Went whale hunting a couple weeks ago, but came up dry. Went out around Holyrood and there was nothing there. I'll go back again soon and check it out. But in the meantime, mermaids. That's my goal today, find a mermaid. And this beautiful foggy area is Whitless Bay. Again, look at the amazing view out there. <laughs> and here's beautiful Mobile. Again, a great view out there with the fog. And this right here is beautiful Taurus Cove. <laughs> Nice little look out there, perfect view today. Look at that. Usually you can see the islands and all that stuff out there in the background. And here we are back in uh, Cape Royal. There's Riverside Lounge. I think I'm gonna get some fuel before I continue on. Might as well top up, don't have to do it on the way back.
30 bucks. Not bad, that'll get me 400 kilometers or so. So when you look on Google Maps, it actually shows a place called Devil's Kitchen, and this is that spot. I'm not sure what's significant about it. It just showed it on Google Maps, and uh, somebody asked about it. So here we are, at Devil's Kitchen. It's uh, actually a part of uh, Calvert, by the looks of it. All right, we made it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Calvert, or Calvert. So we are going to head down that way eventually, but I'm going to take you over this way first and give you the tour of this side. It's really unfortunate that it's so bloody foggy. But the forecast for the next week is pretty much this. It's fog, rain, drizzle, RDF. Makes me wonder sometimes why I actually stay living on the Avalon Peninsula. Because <laughs> the weather sucks. But there's really not too much uh, to it on this side, especially when you uh, loof an island souvenirs up that way. Yeah, I don't know if I call this a fail or not. Pretty sure we take uh, this ends pretty soon and turns into Fairyland shortly. Because Fairyland is just up here. Squid Chicker. Seen that restaurant on the Google Maps. Considered getting a bite to eat, but uh, I think I'm just gonna stick to coffee. That's if I boil one up. Anyway, I'm gonna find somewhere to turn around now because uh, as you can see from this sign coming up right here, we are now entering Fairyland territory. All right, best spot to turn around. Right there would have been good. Damn it, indecisiveness. <laughs> too soft, too much gravel. Not even gonna risk it. You can tell uh, it's all just wavy and puffed up. Fairyland. Founded in 1621. Whoa. <laughs> I should have went down a little further. There was a big lip on the edge of the pavement. Caused me a little bit of a problem. But I made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm 50% uh, disappointed. The reason I say 50% is because 50% of me is okay getting out, enjoying the ride, but I come out to capture the sights of the province. It's, uh, I guess fog is a sight of this province. Here we are. Welcome to Calvert, settled in 1652. So it's been around a while. I can only imagine the difference back then. First impressions. You never get a second chance, do you? Right over my head. Brian's Lane. It's a lane. I should have went down there. Because that's how you get to explore better, is by taking these little side roads. Kind of disoriented now. Actually, I will go at that side road. 
Might as well, right? Watch all the gravel. Man, that's a lot of fog. Maybe it doesn't go that much further. That's it, that just goes up to their driveway and ends, yeah. Ghostly. You can see the ghosts through the fog. Down to the wharf now. So let's see what's on this lane. <laughs> it's probably just a long driveway. Rossiter's Lane. Yeah, you're getting a full meal deal here today at the tour. Okay, that just connects into the main road that goes back out. Shortcut. For whatever reason, I like that orange. I think it's orange. I'm colorblind. That goes nice together. It's uh, contrast well. Yay, boats and seagulls and a wharf. There's somebody out there. Only for that, I'd almost uh, go out and uh, have a look. I have been out there before, but when there was nobody around. There wasn't people working here the last time I was here either, right? Beautiful area, isn't it? Fog lifted enough for me to get a good glimpse. Picnic table, yay. And what's up this way? Another picnic table. Calvert is a lot bigger than I expected because I'm still riding. Although, you don't know how long I've been riding since I hit pause on the video, do you? <laughs> but according to Google Maps as well, out this way there's an area I can park and walk about 400 meters and I can maybe see these two islands. I forget what they're called now. I'll look it up after. Because I was hoping to fly my drone out around those islands because they're not far offshore. But I got a feeling the fog is not gonna uh, let me participate in that activity today. That's it. Can't change the weather. But it turned out to be actually a decent day for driving or riding. I mean, a little bit of fog, that didn't really get me. The windshield got all that. And uh, right now I'm feeling nothing because the fog has lifted slightly and it's not as dense around me. Do a little off-roading on the trail here to try to find my uh, islands. I got a feeling it's not going to happen today. Just a gut feeling. Yeah, that's definitely not a route for me on my Goldwing. As much as I'd like to try it. <laughs> That must be the trail, I'd say, that takes you down to the, uh, oh, there it is there, Broad Cove Beach. So there's the path. I found it. Now. Where do you park? 
to actually use it. That's the thing. All packed up and ready to go. Let's see what's down that trail. So this is a beach, so uh, who knows? That could be where I boil my coffee, we'll see. It's probably not a designated parking spot, but hopefully it's safe there. Can't see why not. And here's the trail. To Broad Cove Beach. Let's see how this works out. Ah, a discovery. Stairs to take you down to the beach. All right, that's pretty cool. Although, it looks like they're blocked off. I don't see any warning signs, but being blocked off might be the warning sign. Damn it, I hate uh, Yes, I want to go down there so bad. <laughs> and I can't see those islands either to uh, throw my drone up to look for it. But I will use my drone to have a look at these stairs. Might as well throw it up for a few seconds. Have a look at that beach from afar. So I bet you it's a nice beach. And hopefully this opens up soon. Well, that was a little disappointing. I was looking forward to uh, seeing those islands. But that's it, the trail's not ready and it's foggy and there's nothing I can do about either of those things. So, off to explore Calvert a bit more. Maybe I will get out on that wharf yet. We'll see if, there's, uh, if that buddy is still out there. Cause I'm hoping he's not. I don't like going out where there's people out there. I feel awkward and uncomfortable, even though I'm probably allowed out there. Maybe I'm not, but can't see what the harm is. I'm just out there enjoying the scenery, right? All right, time to move again. Keep forgetting the handbrake. Yes, my bike has a handbrake. The joys of owning an automatic, a DCT transmission. I would assume that most people who use that trail would uh, park just up here and, and walk their way down. 
That's my semi-intellectual conclusion. <laughs> but man, I was looking forward to seeing those islands because I've been looking at them for a few weeks on uh, Google Maps when I'm trying to figure out places to go and sites to see. And uh, anyway, that was one of them. I'll have to come back another time, I guess, on a nicer day just for that purpose. All right, there's nobody out on that wharf, so I think I'm going to go out and relax for a few minutes. Could go in there somewhere, around one of those wharves too, I guess. Got that building seems better days. <laughs> All right. It's a bit of a turn. Especially on that gritty stuff. <laughs> Makes you nervous of the throttle. Managed by Harbor Authority. Alright, so it's not privately owned. Lori's Legacy. Fundy Predator. One day from New Brunswick. Atlantic Assassin. It's a killer name. <laughs> Sorry. This is a better view of Calvert from down here. Might as well just stop here, right? <laughs> Since I'm already stopped. All right, time to unpack and get a coffee and to go. As awkward as I feel because there is somebody here and uh, I don't like attention. But that's it. I want the views. Before I take my coffee out, I'm gonna show you around this uh, little area, show you some of the boats that are here first. This here is a gold wing. <laughs> it flies, it doesn't float. Well, it looks like the guys are in doing a bit of maintenance before they head out. It's a bit rough outside, they were saying, so uh, now's the time to get ahead of it, right? One thing that does concern me is I noticed the truck is parked right in the middle of the wharf back there, and I don't know if there's enough room on each side to get by, or either side. Worry about that in a half an hour, right? 
Coffee time. Get my old chair ready. Buddy's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing up here. Setting up. <laughs> I should have put this on hyperlapse again so it doesn't take so long. There, done. Now I got a place to sit and lounge. All right, let's see what's in here that I need to dig out. My stove, my water, and of course, my coffee. Taste test. Flavor's good, it's just a little bit warm, but that'll cool down in no time. Anyway, cheers. I did manage to get some drone clips. I'm not sure how clear they're going to turn out because fog did get over the lens on it. Not much you can do about that when you're flying in the fog. 
But either way, hopefully you enjoyed the videos. The seagull looks lonely. Lori's legacy. These folks work very hard to earn their keep, that's for sure. I wouldn't be able to do what they do. It takes a certain breed to live on the ocean, I think. I love being around the ocean, but not so much on it. Work like a captain, play like a pirate. Fundy Predator, I wonder, I know I mentioned on the way in, I can't help but wonder if that owner is from New Brunswick, just, or maybe even Nova Scotia, I guess, New Brunswick. Keep thinking Bay of Fundy, that's why. So that one's the Abbey Isle. I'm not sure what this one is. Probably just painted it this year and haven't got the name on it yet. That's my guess. It's a pretty big boat. I can only imagine the amount of financial investment these guys have to put into these boats. Not only to purchase them, but just the upkeep and maintenance. It probably costs more than what it does on my Can-Am or my Goldwing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it probably does anyway. Flat Island Venture. So today is a maintenance day for them. In here it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of a rolling waves going. But once you get outside in the open out there, it's uh, a totally a different story. So the buys are doing maintenance. See my windshield never dried yet. That's it, the fun is over. Coffee's gone, the drone's been up. Nothing else to do but uh, relax and then go home. So I'm gonna relax first though. All right, time to get going. I think the truck has moved, so don't have to worry about that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Calvert. Goodbye, Calvert. It was nice seeing you. Maybe the next time I see you, it will be sunny. You can almost feel the chill coming over the air as I enter Devil's Kitchen. <laughs> Shouldn't be a chill though. I can feel the heat coming from it. Oh no, stuck behind school buses. <laughs> that sucks. On the way out, I was stuck behind that transport truck. 
How long will it be behind this guy, I wonder? Well, I was unsuccessful not only uh, with getting drone clips of those islands, but also finding that mermaid. I never located her after all. I was keeping an eye out for her on my way down, but uh, I didn't see anything. So maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it wasn't on the southern shore where I, where I seen the photo of it. I'll keep looking though. I want to find a mermaid. <laughs> I think it's time to sign off. I'm uh, just passing uh, Cape Royal now on my way back home. So there's not much else for you guys to watch or see or listen to, so it's time to sign off. I hope you enjoyed uh, the clips I did manage to get of uh, Calvert. And uh, if you're interested in other communities around Newfoundland, mostly the Avalon so far and the Bjorn Peninsula, Go through my videos, you'll find uh, other communities as well like this that I just took my time, coasted through and uh, captured a few scenes because uh, that's what I like to do and I like just meandering, wandering around the province and uh, finding new places, new sites to see, like new little communities that I never heard of. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. That's why I got my motorcycle, that's why I got my drone, that's why I got this camera, that camera. I just enjoy going around capturing our province and its beauty. Because I keep hearing certain people say, oh, it's all broken and all that stuff. You know, I'd, only for I want to keep this PG, I would uh, have a few words to say about uh, those people who keep saying that this is broken, because it's not broken. It's bloody beautiful, and it's amazing. So uh, get that out of your head. Anyway, I'm not lecturing you. I'm just kind of uh, ranting a little bit before I sign off. So enjoy the rest of your week. Today is Monday, isn't it? I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. See, when you're retired, the days of the week get mixed up. So it is Monday, and I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video, and take care of yourselves.